The heart of Fire Novel is starting to come into fruition. The Lost Temple has been found. Are we finally going to the Sea of Tribute? Time has come. What can you whisper to us? What will you share? What do the Guardians know of these dark constellations? Does she know of the curse? Show me what Bell knows. So she knows. The temple's location has been found. But why a temple with both a curse and a cure? So the trials of the ancients, to prove yourself worthy of living on and protecting what you hold dear. You see, we have so much more in common than Ramsey realizes. The curse is a gift. Why did you leave? Into the Sea of Tribute? Now, tell me of your golden city. Alright then, there is a lot to get through in the second vision or prophecy of the orb and things are getting interesting. We're starting to see things from the Heart of Fire novel come into fruition, so there will be some spoils for the Heart of Fire novel ahead. Alright, let's just get straight into it then. So the servant wants to know what the guardians know of the constellations. Does Bell know of the curse? And then he says, show me what Bell knows. Now, throughout this video, it makes me slightly confused about what curse he's on about here. Whether he's on about the skeleton curse, or whether he's on about some other curse, because he talks about the ancients as if they're intertwined with themselves. So, the ancients are skeletons as well. Anyways, we'll get on to that in a second. Right. The biggest reveal that we have first is that the temple's location has been found. For those of you who don't know what this is alluding to, this is alluding to the temple in Heart of Fire. Now, this temple is an ancient one, obviously of ancient origins, that's what the servant's interested in here, and it was buried beneath an island. It is where Merrick's drum, the one that can summon the Megalodon, was originally housed, and there's a whole story thing that goes on in there. There wasn't really anything to do with a curse going on there though, which is pretty interesting. Again, this whole curse thing is getting me slightly confused. But why a temple with both a curse and a cure, says the servant? Perhaps this temple holds the skeleton curse and a cure to the skeleton? I'm just, as I say, I'm not quite sure what curse they're on about here, whether it's something new or not. He talks about the trials of the ancient, this ancient test, I guess, but in the shots, we can see Bell and the ancient priest. Are they together? Is the ancient priest watching Bell? What's happening here? 
He goes on to say that the curse is a gift. Why did you go into the Sea of Tribute? The Sea of Tribute is essentially where the Ancients went, where they disappeared to. Because the Ancients never died off. We learned in the Siren's Prize and in the Heart of Fire novel that they actually journeyed to the Sea of the Damned. Because they started to dabble in the Arcane, and then they said, we either go together or not at all. And so they all went together into the Sea of the Damned, into the Sea of Tribute, where from the Heart of Fire novel, their capital city lies. Which, we're not quite sure how much is memory and how much isn't yet. That's still not been clear in the game and across the novels. He says, now tell me of your golden city as well. This is alluding to the idea that this city, this area they found in the Sea of the Damned where they reside or have resided again, the Sea of the Damned's memories, it's a bit confusing as I say. But anyways, the idea of this being this perfect city. After this cinematic has ended, we also see Briggsy come into the image. For those of you who don't know what this means, last year, slowly things kept making their way into the image of the orb where it was set last year that alluded to what's coming in 2022. There were Spanish hats alluding to Spanish soldiers in the sea forts. There was Bell, which obviously was, well, Bell. And then there was also a veil mask alluding to the legend of the veil and everything that happened with the veil of the ancients. Essentially, across the week, lots of different things will start appearing in the image. And there's been something that's appeared in this image, and that being Captain Briggsy. But not in the skeleton form, in the flesh. She's come out of the Sea of the Damned. People have been saying she's got the blessing of Athena's fortune. So she's come out from the Sea of the Damned, so she did run away to there, as per what we thought from the Dark Brethren journals, from those recent adventures, that's where she was hiding, but I don't know why she's in the Reapers area. I don't think that really matters too much in terms of canon, it's more of the fact that she's there that is significant. Now, the Reaper's Parrot has moved from North Star Seapost. It's now at the Sunken Grove, so if you want to go and get the Snowburn Ship Lantern, head over to Sunken Grove and you can get it over there. You literally just interact with the Parrot, hold X or F, whatever your interact prompt is, and then you'll be given it in your inventory. But anyways, that does just about wrap up this video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Are you excited to see more ancient stuff? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news. As and when it comes at my audit, why not hit the bell as well as never miss a single upload. With the Orb event, it is a very exciting time and there's so much to keep up with. Visions literally every day, every other day. There's no schedule for this. It's, it's crazy. Although actually, I say there's no schedule. I did mention this in my previous video. But I'm going to mention it again if you didn't catch that. Everything is an hour and a half in between, so it's been worked out that every either raid from a streamer and drop or vision is an hour and a half apart. So it'll be an hour and a half of a still image, and then something will happen, either a raid or a stream for half an hour, or a vision. So if you want to get those drops, that should help you out. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.